Revelation chapter 11 and verse 12 and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them come up hither damn <laughs> yo read that one more time I like it. That's good. from the book that, of that's heat right there. from the book of Revelation chapter 11 and verse 12 okay. and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them come up hither and they seconded to like it they ascended up to heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them damn then the wisdom of Solomon said they're gonna be they, they're gonna look at the strangers of their salvation God. you know God. so that right there go right with it man. That's right. you know that's the voice saying come up with it who's that speaking to you i'm shy come up man and he talking to your left you know come come on man i'm taking y'all home come on y'all endured enough man y'all rocked out that's right you know Come up here. Read that one more time, brother Deshaun. From the book of Revelation, chapter 11, and verse 12. And they heard a great voice from Salakia, from heaven, saying unto them, Come up hither. That's right. And they ascended up to heaven in That's a cloud. Right. They ascended up to heaven in a cloud. Man. And their enemies beheld them. That's right. And so all. <laughs> Yo, that goes for you other nations, first and foremost, man. God. You fucking crackers, you gooks, mm -hmm. you fucking all, all you other nations, man. Oh. That go for all y'all, man. Y'all gonna be sunny. Right? Cause right now with, with, with uh North Korea, they they stockpiling, man. They they building up. Matter of fact, they got a, a gun that they say they can shoot at you. I believe it's from a hundred yards and, and catch you on fire, man. Mm. But these niggas working with these little pshum pshum. Them pistols and shit. Kevin Hart. Yeah, I don't yeah, even give yeah. a fuck if you got a, a, a M16, man. Huh. All right? A Uzi. He got the Gatling gun. Yeah, it can. You know? Even if, even if you got that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't give a fuck if you got a rocket launcher. <laughs> you know what I mean? Real rap. Right. And because that, that, that's what niggas like to say in the hood, man. But I don't even care if you, if you, if you even own one of them. Because all of y'all don't. You might have a couple niggas that's fortunate enough to have. I ain't even gonna say fortunate enough, you know? That sold out enough and, and sold enough drugs to get one, you know? Wow. You got a gook with 100 yards from you with a gun that can set your ass on fire. Sure. That means that's burn that, that, that damn gun up too. That's right. You know? So, but they doing all that. Why? Because they think they gonna be the next superpower. Right. But the next superpower, who that's gonna be? Us. The Israelites, man. You know? And everybody gonna be looking at like, damn, how the fuck? How, the, how they can see, man? You know? Read that one more time, man. That was a beautiful scripture, man. From the book of Revelation, chapter 11, and verse 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, That's what we're waiting for. Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in the cloud. Yeah. And their enemies beheld them. That's right. Keep going. I'll say it again? No, nah, matter of fact, no, nah, that's it. Right? You know? Then their enemies be held up. Matter of fact, it's more. It's not good. Verse 13. In the same hour, in the same hour, was there a great earthquake. And, and the tenth part of the city fell. And in the earthquake, there's Slacky. Were slain of men, seven thousand, and the remnant were affrighted. Afrighted. Afrighted. Were afraid and gave glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah of heaven. That's right, man. That's talking about the missiles and all that hitting, man. That's right. You know, 
But a lot is going to be a lot of death, man. Why? Then that that's simultaneously with the with, with the elect being delivered, man. And those the, the people that's left down here, that's that's what they going to see, man. That's right, you know. But the the men up there that's that's on the chairs, they're going to be praising the Lord, man. Laughing, joking, looking at the destruction, laughing at that shit. Kind. You know, they that's going to be a show. But they say he's laugh at your um. Yeah, I'll laugh at your calamity. Kind. When your fear comes to desolation. Kind. You know. He said, I'll laugh at your calamity. I will mock, you know? Kind of, as you mock. Yeah, kind of, how, how he going to do that? First, he's going to do it through his men, man. Right? you going to see men laughing at that shit. Seeing Edomites get hit by trains, get fucked up, we out here laughing. That's right. That's entertainment right there. You know? That's entertainment. That's that good entertainment. <laughs> you know? Uh, Definitely. That's so we need to show yeah. America's funniest. Yeah, kind of. America's funniest. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Yo, kind of. We look. See the ratings on that. Had that had in the kingdom, man. In the kingdom. Man. The uh, Edomite's funniest slaughter. <laughs> Got a brother in the. You know what I'm saying? Had a nigga ski all crazy and sick. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, who can make an Edomite screen the funniest? I tell you. You know, that shit, yo, man. <laughs> what kind of eater might make the, the funniest sound? Yo, cut. And yo, matter of fact, I, I forgot what, what king it was, but they used to throw them off, 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 off the mountains, man. Come. Oh, yeah. That, 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 was, uh, that, that was the entertainment. Come. Throwing Esau off a mountain, man. Looking at how they hit, boom, boom. How they be hitting the shit, laughing oh, yeah. at that shit, man. Bang, that's you know? That, that was, <laughs> so that, yo, that's the spirit that king was in, man. Yeah. You know, so that's gonna be the spirit we gonna be in, man. That's right. You know, but then who and, and, and nobody's gonna be able to stop us. Why? Because it's gonna be our kingdom. Just like if we do something right now with Esau's kingdom, what's gonna happen? That, that's right there. The Romans they gonna pull up on you, right? Cuff you up. You know what our spiritual father's like that now? Yeah. This nigga driving a fucking taxi. Like it's the shit. Like that, that, like that's it. Jake for you, man. Jake. Like them damn cop looking cars. Like, what the hell? Good, man. Yo, bro, at chapter one, chapter one, chapter one. Well, I'm going to these chariots, man. Because that, that, that's what's going to come back to. That, that's Israel's salvation, them chariots, man. You know, matter of fact, and th this how, is this, this how dumb Esau is, man. Why ain't going to, well, yeah, they, they dumb as hell. Dumb as hell. But they, this is how you know they deceive you, too, because they know, they know them chariots of the most high is not an actual cloud, man. You know? Okay. But I remember in, in Hollywood they had they they did the, the, the uh what's the greatest story ever told, right? About Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth and all that. Okay. And at the end of the movie, every time he's standing there on, on the uh he's living, man. But he's standing, he's standing on the beach with the disciples. This, this when he ascends in the heavens, right? But they got him standing there, and then all of a sudden he rises, and they use in the clouds. Like real clouds. I'm like, what you fucking ass, man? You know? This nigga wasted all his money on that shit. And guess what? That shit gonna be destroyed, man. Right. That nigga might be trying, trying to eat the rubber off his tires when that shit When that man but yo, he said, but the but he said, yo, it said the earth gonna roll to roll to and fro like a drunk. Huh. That shit, that yo, that's a lot of fucking missiles, man. Huh. You know? Uh, oh, it's not like that. From the book of Acts, chapter 1, and verse 9. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and the cloud received him out of their sight. Damn, but well, that's what we were just talking about. Come. You know, you that, that movie, that Jesus, Jesus and Lazarus and all that, man. You know they try to make it seem like he was on an actual cloud. Oh. No, he got beamed up in the chariot. The same way when in the Revelation we talk about, he said, "Come hither, man." You know, 
And they got, and they're saying they ascended, man. Come. You know? The same way he left is the same way he coming back. He left on the ship, he coming back on the ship, man. That's right. A, a so-called UFO, man. <laughs> but you tell niggas that now, they're going to look at you like, oh, this nigga, I was mine. They're going to think you crazy. But that, that's why the scriptures say, the uh, Lord uses the foolishness of this world to make it wise, man. Because that sounds foolish to a person. Because guess what? They never ever really saw a UFO up close and personal, but you saw a helicopter. You saw an airplane. That's just like, if, if a, yo, if Esau told these niggas, yo, Jesus coming back on the airplane to save y'all, they'd believe that shit, man. Instead of us telling them the truth, yo, the Lord's coming back on the, on the chariot, man. The chariot of the Lord, which is a so-called UFO, man. It's a ship. Where the hell you think Esau get uh, Star Wars from, man? You know, where you think he get uh, 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 all, all, all those Star out of Trek. space? Yeah, Star Trek. Trek. Yeah, all Alien those out of space Predator. movies, man. All that. Yeah, where you think they get them ships from, man? You know, they know they exist, man, but they put it in sci-fi, science fiction. They put a lot of truth in them science fiction shows, man. You know, why? Because that's how niggas going to just uh, uh, view it as entertainment, man. With, with any other with any other thing else that these crackers put up there, man. You know? Go ahead, right? Verse 10. And while they look steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. Damn. So those were angels, man. That's right. The Howard Shah got beamed up, but those angels were beamed down next to them. You know, to let them know. Matter of fact, I'll let the scriptures talk. <laughs> keep, keep going? Yeah, go ahead. Right. Verse 11. Which also said, Ye men of Galal. That's Galal, right? Galilee. Galilee. Okay, okay, Galilee. Ye men of Galilee. Why stand ye gazing up into heaven? Damn, see that? This same Yahweh Shah. Uh, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. See that? That's what we just said, man. The same way he went up and left, that's the same way he coming back. That's but right. The only difference is when he, when he matter of fact, he, he wasn't, no, he was in the form of a man. But he said when he come back, he's not going to meet you as a man. You know? So like, he going to man. He going to come back in that heavenly body. Breaking shot, man. Come back and die, shit. Yeah, kind. Warrior. But that, but but see, the angels was was being down and was standing next to him, like, damn, what y'all doing? Right. Why y'all up there just standing? They was probably like, damn, man, that's, that's our old boy, man, big trouble. You know, he gone. Like, what we going to do now? I was talking about you know I was like, 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 I was He's a sucker, yeah. I'm like, yo, you the son of the most high. Yeah, he like, he probably, was, he probably was, no, I know he wasn't the son. I'm just saying, like. Nah, that's how they trying to make it. Size, like, when he probably not even a regular dude's size, he probably like Shaq's size or something like that. <laughs> like, y'all don't know you're even the son of the most high. Like, that's, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Coming from the, the, the bloodline, man. Uh, David, you know what, what I'm saying? Kind of. And, 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 and I'm just saying, and that's a, and that's a whole, that's a whole blessed Bloodline right there, and coming from the Most High, the, the, the spirit that he, oh, that he brought to him. That's right. Huh? He was, he was, he had to be a thorough dude. Kind of, yeah, kind of. See that, then, yo, then imagine that. Like you say, he was built big, right? And he said he's not going to meet you as a man. That's a man. God. You know? That's a man. So he, he come, he going to be, man. No, nah, you were just talking about how, how, the, uh, how the angels was. Kind of. How, how big the angels yeah, was. Yeah, yo, matter of fact, the cracker said, they did an interview, man. He said they was like 10 feet tall. You know, that was just a, and not that, and matter of fact, we used to be bigger back in, back, back, back then, man, man, man was bigger, you know, yeah. but they pinch this, I think it's the pituitary gland, that they pinch that joint and it makes you grow to a certain, certain, certain height and shit, you know, but see, like, like that, the, the same way, read that one more time, over the song, man, that, that's, a, that's a beautiful scripture right there. You know? From the book of Acts, chapter 1 and verse 11. Which also said, ye men of Galilee, Galilee, 
Watch then ye gazing up into heaven. This saying Yahweh shall which is taken up from you into heaven shall come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Yeah, huh. Now see, he told him why they stand there gazing, man. Huh? That's like being dismayed at the way that that, that uh Yahweh Shah got taken up. You know? So they saw them church, man. They they actually saw Yahweh Shah get beamed up in the church. Now grab Jer Jeremiah 10 and 2. Just just to prove a point. Brothers. Yeah, come. Just to prove a point in, in, in the eleventh in the eleventh verse. Because they were standing there like they was in awe. Come. You know? So at that time they they, they was they were basically looking like heathens, man. Twelve and two. No, nah, ten and two. They was looking like heathens, man. Because heathens, he, heathens get uh, dismayed at that. that. That's why the angels had to check them real quick. Like, yo, man, what y'all doing? Calm down. You know? Like, it, it ain't that deep. That's for y'all. Y'all y'all coming? So hey, y'all gonna have one? <laughs> no? Come. Ten and two? Yeah, come. From the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, and verse 2. Thus said the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushua, Learn not the way of the heathen, right. and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. That's right. So not being dismayed at the signs of heaven, that's the cherries, man. They just made at that. Huh. They trying to figure it out. That's like that's why I said that that, that at that point the disciples they was looking like heathens, and the angels yeah. had to check. They say for the heathen are dismayed at them. That's right, because they was looking like gazing like wow. Like ah, that that's just salvation, man. Come. You know, so now now they like, yo, go 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 ahead. You gotta teach, man. Get out there and teach, man. Come. You know, go tell the people what you have saw, what you have learned. Man. They probably bring the word out strong. Come. That. Yeah, like oh shit, I gotta get out. Like yo, just seeing that 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 give you a charge, man. They the like, real witness. Kind of like being a, being around a brother that 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 got that energy. You get that energy, man. That, that shit how you charge, man. Come. You know, you get around your brothers, man, your Akim, you know, y'all 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 get, get get into the spirit talking about the word and all that, man. That keeps you charged, man. You know? Cause it gets lonely out here in this world, man. You around a bunch of fucking heathens and, and, and two third niggas that don't believe, man. Yeah. You know? And it's hard for you to talk to motherfuckers. You know? That's how I, I say something like being around a dumbass nigga uh causes more more brain cell loss than than, than drugs, man. You know? Shit, man, that, that shit have you like, man. Like that that should have just had you heated, man. But they whole conversation is just it's dumb as shit, man. I mean, they ain't talking about man, man. niggas always wanna talk about sports, man. That's the first thing a nigga wanna do, talk about sports and bitches, man. That's some bullshit. That ain't gonna get you no salvation. And they be talking about chasing these bitches, man. And that's what these niggas do, man. Yeah. Go chasing. Wait, wait. Matter of fact, we're gonna end it on this, man. Cause this, this for them dudes that like to chase. Cause, cause you know, and and, and the reason why it's like that because, you know, Esau Esau uh, uh made it like that. You know? All right. And his kingdom. Done. Society. Because like, because because Esau's a homosexual man. Huh. So so they so they uh they um basically uh, uh glory after the woman man. You know. Huh. Um, let me get my bearings together. I, let me get this. This talks about Technical difficulties, guys. Mm -hmm. One second. <laughs> But yeah, man, the same way that these guys out here chasing these women, man, in that day, the women gonna be chasing the men of the Lord, man. All right? Like, like this little chicken head over there, sitting over there, singing and all that. Look at this nigga. 
he's sitting there like in amazement, you know? <laughs> Amazing. And first of all, like, yo, man, I, I be looking at a lot of these women, man, now, like, they disgust me, man. Mm -hmm. You know? They got the fake eyelashes on, Try the fake it. hair, fake the hair dyed. They look for a real man. Yeah, fake nails and shit, you know? They, they got all this fake shit on them, fake boobs, fake asses. They got all this fake shit, but they talking about I want a real man. You got a fake skin tone. Yeah, God. Then, then on top, yeah, God, then on top of that, you, 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 you want to look like a, a, a Edomite woman, and then you get mad at a Jake for, for going after an Edomite woman. <laughs> but you want to look like it. That's just like Jake. They, they like, like, like you, bro. You get your hair all straightened out, and shit. Chop, bleach it like, like Sammy Sosa. Bro. God, God. You know what I'm saying? Like that nigga, man. Bleach your skin, put contacts in your eye, and then go chasing after a nigga woman, man. You know? Yeah. But that's what them nigga women like. Like the one that was just here, that, that ran off with the dude, man. Right? You know? It's like Tommy did. Right. But this is, this is about to happen in the very near future, man. You know? This scripture right here that the brother's going to bring on Isaiah the 13th chapter, man. This is going to happen real soon, man. 13, 11, right? Right. Well, 12. 12. But, okay. No matter of fact, start, start, start at verse 11. Right. From the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, and verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. Yeah, he said, I will punish the world for their evil. So what's one of them, what's one of their evils, man? They they putting a woman over the man, you know. They 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 legalize a homosexuality, beast matter of fact, bestiality is damn near legal. Basically, pedophilia about to be legal is damn near legal. Kind amongst amongst them elites and them top top players, that's shit legal. Well, man. they already doing it. Yeah, kind man, they been doing it. The same the same the way that the Greeks and the Romans did that. Yeah, that. Kind, like you said, the Pizza Gate. Kind. You know, all I that. I then brought the Pizza Gate. Kind. Months ago. Right? Yeah, One kind. of the first drones I said. Kind. And it's getting worse. Kind. And they do stuff to deviate from it. Like they, it's funny that you brought that up. Because, because I did bring up Pizza Gate before and it's funny. I came across this article a couple days ago and they called it, uh, they called it Pedo Gate. Like, wow. They trying to switch the name so you won't look up the original name to it. Wow. So they're going to throw you off. Wow. So they so so they trying not to, so they won't, don't want you to look up Pizza Gate. They want you to go go on, on to like like something else that they made up. That might be that might look crazy. That's not really that's not really nothing for real for real. Right. So that's that, not the that's, real thing. Yeah. So that that's like uh, ne neologism. Which huh. is, that's that's new speak, man. Huh. You know. Where they, they change up words. That's what they do with the Bible. They change up words, man. That's that so you have to go back to the original text of it, man. To get the, the real meaning. So what they doing? Change the pizza gate. Like they always change shit. Like how many times they done change the stadium down there down there in uh, uh South Philly? Right. You know? Right. About used to be used to be the, the vet. Now? Yeah, the, the vet. The vet, yeah. Now it's the Lincoln Financial. But they done changed the Wachovia, I don't know how many times, man. Yeah, cut. You know? Right. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to to cease. That's right. So like this woman over here, uh, Esau and all that, they they proud, man. You no, know, the average nigga that think he's getting out a dollar, like I was watching that movie, paid him for the way them do it, riding around and all. And, you know, leaning back and like God. they like they was the shit, man. God. You know, the Lord dude just got that out. Yeah, can the Alpo. Yeah, Alpo. Yeah. But 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 man, the Lord, the Lord going uh, especially Esau, because Esau's the proudest bastard, all man. God. You know, but all that shit, all that proud and that that, but that's where our people get it from, Esau, man. Because they want to be like Esau, you know. And and we'll lay and we'll lay low. And we'll lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. That's right. The terrible is talking about Esau. All right. And the haughtiness is another word for proud, man. Go ahead. 
And while all this is happening, the, the, the nigga women are chasing after Esau. Watch this. Verse 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. 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 Yeah, so yeah, so, so the Lord is going to make a man more precious than fine gold, man. More finer than the finest uh, 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 ruby or, or jewel you can get out here. Alright? That's how the, the Israelite man, the elect Israelite man is going to be in that day, man. Alright? These women are going to be flocking to him. Come. You know? Lord's will, we be one of those men. You know? And not just for that. The Lord's will, we be one of those men just to make it up out of here, man. Come. You know? To, like what what uh what, what the, what was that song by Tracy Lee? To hell with the bitches and the so-called faith. Yeah, you know, I just want the I just want the salvation, man. Kind. You know? I'd rather find a, a woman in the kingdom in the To hell with these women, man. But they're gonna be flocking, you know. But the Lord has certain women set up for you anyway. You know? So when it so so instead of you being a chaser, like like that, like back in the day, that Tom and Jerry, the Tom and Jerry cartoon, Come. and they had to the, this dumbass playing the, the guitar talking about is you where's is you ain't my baby. Oh yeah. And that Pepe Le Pew nigga, he used to make me sick. Oh, he's chasing after fucking mm -hmm. pussy, chasing after pussy and shit. You know? You ain't never find that weird or skunk chasing after yeah, a cat. You no, know? that's crazy. Yeah, hey, just give me a kid. Mm -hmm. Like get the fuck out of here, man. You know, be a man. Huh. You got anything else to add up? Uh, nah, alright. And with that, all praises to Yahweh Shai, Ba'a Shem Rekar Kadash, and the Holy Spirit. That's right. And the truth, always. You know, a father from God. Uh, double honors to the Apostle of Elders at Great Millstone, who taught us his truth. Honors and salutations to the whole Follette, pushing his truth for honesty, sincerity, and charity. And death to America! Shalom.